Here is Nucida's weekly forecast for the expected post activities in the realm of software quality on social media channels in week 27 of 2025. Our analysis is based on the social media post data from LinkedIn, YouTube, X, and other internet sources released last week, which revealed dynamic daily changes. I'll leverage the provided web results, which cover software quality trends for 2025, and combine them with logical extrapolation of ongoing conversations in the tech community. The ranking is based on the prominence of topics in recent publications, their relevance to current software quality challenges, and their engagement potential on the mentioned platforms. Each topic's ranking reflects its immediacy, impact, and discussion volume, with reasons for placement and a forecast for future trends included. So, what will be the top 10 hot topics this week? Buckle up and let's start the countdown. 10. Shift Left Testing Reason for Ranking Software quality discussions feature shift left testing, integrating testing earlier in the software development lifecycle, SDLC. It ranks at number 10 compared to more cutting edge topics. Constant, nonetheless less intense chatter occurs on social media as well as blogs. Recent posts do highlight its role here in reducing of defects, for it catches any issues during requirements and or design phases. This lowers its ranking since people consider it a foundational practice instead of seeing it as a new trend, though its prominence stems from its adoption in agile and DevOps environments. My advice? Incorporate shift left testing via embedding of practices for quality assurance into stages for coding and planning. QA teams should be involved with sprint planning while developers write unit tests alongside code. Junit or Selenium can simplify early test automation. For developers and also testers in addition to product owners, collaboration should occur so that they align on goals for quality at the start. This collaboration will foster fewer costly late-stage fixes. My forecast for 2025-2026, shift left testing will remain relevant, but evolve since AI-driven tools automate test case generation during early SDLC phases. Systems integration should grow using low-code platforms. Quality checks then become open for non-technical stakeholders. By 2026, shift left may merge with shift right approaches, creating a holistic quality continuum across the SDLC. Nine. Quality engineering in low-code, no-code platforms. Reason for ranking. Low-code and no-code platforms are gaining traction for rapid application development, but quality assurance for these platforms is a growing concern. This topic ranks number nine due to moderate discussion in blogs and social media posts, particularly around ensuring reliability in citizen-developed apps. The rise of platforms like OutSystems and Mendix has sparked conversations about automated testing tools tailored for low-code environments, though it's still an emerging niche. My advice? Invest in specialized testing tools like Testim or Leapwork that support low-code platforms. Establish governance frameworks to ensure citizen developers follow quality standards, such as input validation and security checks. Regularly audit low-code apps for performance and scalability issues, as these platforms often abstract underlying complexities that can lead to quality pitfalls. My forecast for 2025-2026. As low-code, no-code adoption grows, expect a surge in AI-powered testing tools designed for these platforms, enabling automated quality checks for non-technical users. By 2026, standardized quality frameworks for low-code development will emerge, driven by regulatory pressures, and the need for enterprise-grade reliability. 8. Test Data Management TDM. Reason for Ranking Test data management, particularly synthetic data generation, is a hot topic due to privacy regulations like GDPR and CCPA. It ranks number 8 because of consistent mentions in blogs and social media discussions about generating realistic, compliant test data. Tools like Delphix and Informatica are frequently cited for their ability to mask sensitive data while maintaining test accuracy, but the topic is less flashy than others, keeping it lower on the list. My advice, implement robust TDM strategies using tools that generate synthetic or anonymized data to comply with privacy laws. Ensure test data mirrors production environments to catch edge cases. 
automate data provisioning to reduce manual effort, and integrate TDM with CI-CD pipelines for seamless testing. Regularly review data compliance to avoid legal risks. My forecast for 2025-2026, TDM will grow in importance as data privacy laws tighten globally. AI-driven synthetic data generation will dominate, with tools becoming more sophisticated in mimicking complex data patterns. By 2026, TDM may integrate with blockchain for secure, traceable test data, especially in regulated industries like finance and healthcare. 7. Performance Testing for Microservices Reason for Ranking The shift to microservices architectures has made performance testing critical, ranking number 7 due to its relevance in discussions about scalability and reliability. Social media posts and blogs frequently mention tools like JMeter and Gatling for testing microservices under load. The topic's prominence is driven by the complexity of distributed systems, though it's overshadowed by flashier AI and automation trends. My advice? Adopt performance testing early in microservices development using tools like JMeter or Locust. Simulate real-world traffic patterns to identify bottlenecks in inter-service communication. Monitor key metrics like latency, throughput, and error rates in production-like environments. Integrate performance tests into CI-CD pipelines to ensure continuous optimization. My forecast for 2025-2026, performance testing for microservices will evolve with AI-driven load prediction models, enabling proactive optimization. By 2026, serverless architectures will drive demand for specialized performance testing tools that handle ephemeral, event-driven workloads with a focus on cost efficiency in cloud environments. 6. Security Testing in DevSecOps – Reason for Ranking Security testing within DevSecOps is a hot topic due to rising cyber threats and the integration of security into DevOps workflows. It ranks number 6 because of frequent mentions on social media and in blogs, particularly around tools like OWASP, Zap, and Snyke. The focus is on embedding security scans into CI-CD pipelines, but it's slightly less dominant than AI-driven topics due to its established presence. My advice? Integrate security testing tools like Snyke or Checkmarks into your CI-CD pipeline to catch vulnerabilities early. Conduct regular penetration testing and vulnerability scans, prioritizing critical applications. Train developers on secure coding practices to reduce the burden on QA teams. Use automated tools to monitor open source dependencies for known vulnerabilities. My forecast for 2025-2026. DevSecOps will see increased adoption of AI for predictive vulnerability detection, with tools analyzing code patterns to flag risks before deployment. By 2026, Zero Trust Architecture will drive demand for continuous security testing with a focus on real-time threat detection in production environments. 5. Continuous Testing in CI-CD Pipelines Reason for Ranking Continuous Testing, which automates testing throughout the CI-CD pipeline, ranks number 5 due to its critical role in DevOps and Agile workflows. Blogs and social media posts highlight tools like Jenkins and GitLab for enabling rapid feedback loops. Its ranking reflects its widespread adoption, but slightly lower buzz compared to AI and emerging tech trends. My advice? Implement continuous testing with tools like Selenium, Cypress, or TestNG to automate unit, integration, and regression tests. Ensure tests run in parallel to reduce pipeline bottlenecks. Use cloud-based testing platforms like Sauce Labs for scalability. Monitor test coverage metrics to identify gaps and prioritize critical paths for automation. My forecast for 2025-2026, continuous testing will integrate more deeply with AI, enabling self-healing tests that adapt to code changes. By 2026, expect hyper-automation frameworks that combine testing, monitoring, and deployment orchestration, reducing human intervention in quality assurance. 4. Quality Metrics and KPIs Reason for Ranking Quality metrics and key performance indicators, KPIs, like defect density, test coverage, and mean time to resolution are trending due to the need to quantify quality in agile environments. Ranking number four, 
This topic appears in blogs and social media discussions about measuring the ROI of QA efforts. It's less hyped than AI, but critical for enterprise adoption, driving its mid-tier ranking. My advice, define clear quality KPIs, such as defect escape rate and test automation coverage, aligned with business goals. Use dashboards and tools like Jira or QTest to track metrics in real time. Regularly review KPIs with stakeholders to justify QA investments. Balance quantitative metrics with qualitative feedback from users to ensure holistic quality assessment. My forecast for 2025-2026, AI will enhance quality metrics by predicting defect-prone areas based on historical data. By 2026, real-time analytics platforms will dominate, offering predictive KPIs that guide development decisions with a focus on user experience metrics like Net Promoter Score, NPS, in quality assessments. Three, test automation frameworks. Reason for ranking. Test automation frameworks like Selenium, Cypress, and Playwright are widely discussed for their role in scaling QA efforts. Ranking number three, this topic dominates social media and blog conversations due to the push for faster release cycles. Its prominence is driven by open source adoption and community support, though it's slightly outshined by AI trends. My advice, choose a test automation framework that aligns with your tech stack, e.g. Cypress for JavaScript heavy apps. Modularize test scripts for reusability and maintainability. Integrate frameworks with CI-CD tools for seamless execution. Invest in training teams on framework best practices to maximize ROI and reduce maintenance overhead. My forecast for 2025-2026, test automation frameworks will evolve with AI-driven features, such as auto-generated test scripts and intelligent test prioritization. By 2026, frameworks will support testing for emerging tech like AR, VR, and IoT, with increased focus on cross-platform compatibility and real-time analytics. 2. AI-Powered Testing Tools Reason for Ranking AI-powered testing tools, such as Testim, Mabel, and Functionize, are a major focus due to their ability to automate test creation, execution, and maintenance. Ranking number 2, this topic is heavily discussed on social media and in blogs, driven by the promise of reducing manual effort and improving test coverage. It's just below ethical AI due to its more practical, immediate impact. My advice, adopt AI-powered testing tools to automate repetitive tasks like regression testing and UI validation. Use tools with self-healing capabilities to adapt to UI changes. Combine AI testing with human oversight to ensure edge cases are covered. Evaluate tools based on integration with existing workflows and scalability for large projects. My forecast for 2025-2026, AI testing tools will become more autonomous, with features like predictive defect detection and natural language test case generation. By 2026, these tools will integrate with generative AI models to simulate user behavior, enabling hyper-realistic testing scenarios for complex applications. 1. Ethical AI in Software Quality Reason for Ranking Ethical AI in software quality tops the list due to intense discussions on social media and in blogs about ensuring fairness, transparency, and accountability in AI-driven testing tools. The topic is amplified by broader concerns about AI bias in software development, particularly in regulated industries like healthcare and finance. Its ranking reflects its urgency and alignment with societal and regulatory trends. My advice? Implement ethical AI guidelines by auditing AI testing tools for bias in test case prioritization or data handling. Use frameworks like C2PA for content provenance to ensure transparency in AI-generated test outputs. Engage diverse teams in tool selection to mitigate bias risks. Stay updated on regulatory changes to ensure compliance in AI-driven QA processes. My forecast for 2025-2026 Ethical AI will dominate software quality discussions as regulations tighten. By 2026, expect mandatory standards for AI transparency and testing, with tools embedding explainability features. The focus will shift toward ethical AI for user experience testing, 
ensuring software aligns with diverse user needs. Future Hot Topics for 2025 and 2026 Looking ahead, several emerging topics are likely to gain traction in software quality discussions. Quantum Computing in Testing As quantum computing matures, testing quantum-based applications will require new methodologies and tools, with early discussions expected in late 2025. This will focus on simulating quantum environments for quality assurance. Zero Trust Quality Assurance with cybersecurity threats rising, zero trust principles will extend to QA, emphasizing continuous validation of software components. This will become a major topic by mid-2026, driven by regulatory mandates. AR-VR testing frameworks. The growth of AR-VR applications. Projected market size of $58.1 billion by 2028 will drive demand for specialized testing frameworks particularly for immersive user experiences, starting in 2025. Sustainability and software quality. Green software practices, such as optimizing code for energy efficiency, will emerge as a niche but growing topic by 2026, aligning with broader ESG, environmental, social governance goals. Hyper-automation in QA, combining AI, robotic process automation, RPA, and IoT, hyper-automation will streamline end-to-end -end testing processes, gaining traction in 2026 as enterprises seek to reduce costs and improve efficiency. These forecasts are based on current trends in software development and quality assurance, with an emphasis on emerging technologies and regulatory shifts. Hopefully this video gives you additional insights. What do you think about the hot topics this week? Write your views in the comments section below. In terms of further questions, feel free to write to us. We will analyze all important internet channels and release our analysis report every Monday. Follow or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and know more than your competitors. Happy testing and see you next time.